Hey guys, what's going on? Today I got a blacksmith set, which honestly looks amazing. It's packed with lots of details that I can't wait to show you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the speed build. Alright, so here it is. Aesthetically, the whole set looks amazing. There's nothing really that I can see that is out of place. I really like some of the techniques used to build the house itself with the green roof tiles and the smooth brown tiles used on the walls. Starting with the exterior, we have a defining path which leads to the blacksmith's house and branches out to his forge and his workbench. You can see that the entire base plate is pretty much flat. There's not much elevation going on, which I would have liked to see, but the fact that it is covered in different colored plates and plant pieces still makes it interesting to look at. On the right side of the path, we have a tanning rack with a gray hide that is being stretched. Now tanning and the process of making leather is a whole different profession and would have generally required a separate designated area for production. So it's a little unusual seeing it on the territory of a blacksmith. I would love to get into the whole tanning process, but I'll save it for another video. The build itself is a simple design, but it works so well. I'll have to build more of these racks with different colored hides for when I'll make my tanner mock. Next to it, there is a grindstone for sharpening tools. The idea is your minifig would come up to the grindstone and they would have to manually spin the grindstone using a crank mechanism, either by hand or in the form of a pedal. And that way they could sharpen their tools and maintain their equipment. And there's also a cartwheel there in the back. On the left side, we have a little stump with what's supposed to be an ax, but really it's just one of those black kitchen knife pieces. Moving on, we have a brick built anvil. Not the best designs we've seen, but regardless, it's a good inclusion, obviously in the blacksmith set. Right next to it, we have the forge, which is a pretty cool design. It just uses studs not on top to techniques and various slopes to achieve that rounded look. And right next to it we have a designated area for firewood. Now none of them are attached, they just kinda sit in there. I would have liked there to be a small roof over it just to keep it dry when it rains. Next to it we have a tub filled with translucent blue studs. And finally we come to the blacksmith's workbench where we've got a frying pan, some sort of a bottle and a candle. Attached to the wall we have some tools. I really like the design of this workbench. You can see that they use the 1x2 tiles with a stud in the middle, which are supposed to represent drawers, which is pretty neat. Moving on to the house itself, you can see that there is a front door, but it is not functional. You'll get to see more of it once I get inside. There are a couple of windows on the front, and on the side there are a couple of arched tiles, which give it that unique look. And there's nothing too crazy going on around the back. I just wanted to show you guys that there are four more windows here two on the first floor and two on the second floor and it looks pretty clean. There are no noticeable gaps on the roof or anything. Again, I love how that roof is made. The interior is accessed by lifting the roof up and you can see immediately that these side flaps start to fall down and this is because they are held by one Technic pin at the top and then the bottom section just rests on these tiles that are protruding out of the wall. There is a second floor but there is nothing inside. However, you could fit a couple of beds or use this area for storage. And here is a look at how the roof attaches on. It just uses those adjustable angle pieces and then some 2x4 tiles to cover up the gap on top. Gotta say it works pretty well. Inside on the first floor you'll see a pretty cozy interior. The floor is fully tiled. Now I know some people don't like this because you can't position minifigures onto the floor, but I actually prefer it because of that clean look. But anyway, as you walk in there's a shelf with a bunch of little bottles. This blacksmith clearly has an obsession with magical potions. Oh, and here's how the door is attached, so you can take it off if you really wanted to, but again, it doesn't swing open. There is a barrel in the corner, a small table with presumably some bread, and there's a bed in the other corner. What I really like are the way these floating shelves are made. They are attached onto a snot piece, and then you can use these other pieces to basically change the direction of the studs, so you can now actually place things onto the shelves. I'll definitely be using this technique from now on. But anyway, on the shelves we have some candles and more bottles. That's it for the interior, but while playing around with it, I found that you can actually flip the roof around and have it slanted towards the back. This way you have a bigger sort of front facade. Also when it rains, the water is directed out towards the back rather than up front. Overall, I really enjoyed this blacksmith set. I really like how there's lots of outdoor space to position minifigs. You don't get that with a lot of sets. I mean, I can have my blacksmith here at the forge, and even have his apprentice work somewhere at the back, and maybe someone else on the grindstone, you get the idea. There's just so much possibility with minifigure positioning. 
Another thing I wanted to mention is that the house can easily be modified to be removable from the base plate because it has its own floor and it just sits on some grey plate which you can swap for tile. I'd definitely be doing that for my set just because I like the convenience of taking the whole house off to maybe make space for the camera or to get a closer shot. I hope to integrate this with my LEGO Castle mock along with all the other sets that I've reviewed on this channel recently. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little build review. If you're interested in picking this one up, it will be linked down below. But other than that, thanks for watching and until next time, goodbye.